Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group exercise class. We're here in Southern Arizona and it's very warm and has been and will be for the next several days, maybe weeks. I don't know where you are, but it's very important to stay hydrated when you are working out. Um, joining us for the first time online, um, welcome. You're going to need a straight back chair, one without arms, a pair of light hand weights, a tennis ball, a larger ball, and again, have water. <laughs> we start in a seated position. We'll be standing later, but um, get comfortable toward the front of the chair. Maybe push those light hand weights underneath. And with your feet flat on the floor, your hands resting on your thighs, the core, pull up and, and engage those muscles. Take a deep breath through the nose. Let the air out slowly through the mouth. Again. Exhale. Drop the chin to the chest, stretching the neck. Looking up at the ceiling, relaxing the jaw, the mouth opens. Again, that neutral position, tilt the head, if you're listening to your shoulder, and then to the other side. Center and straight down, a circle. Try to keep it smooth. Slow and smooth. Change the direction. Good. Drop it forward and lift it up, stretching and center. Look over your shoulder. Hold. Look over the other shoulder and hold. <laughs> side to side. And again, center. Shoulders, roll your shoulders, good. And reverse it. Shoulder shrugs up and down. Good job. And very carefully and slowly extend the arms to the side. Making sure you have plenty of room. The shoulders now relax, move your fingers like you're playing the piano. No, typing a letter. <laughs> and then extend them out, tapping each finger to the thumb. Stretch them out, scratch. Good job. Make a fist and squeeze. And stretch them out. Again, squeeze. And out. Well, let's do that one more time. Squeeze, make a tight fist. Circle. One, two, two three, three. Four, Caught you in the middle of a yawn. Reverse it. Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. There. We're going to do some big circles with our arms. So please don't hit anyone. Or anything. If you're at home, don't knock that lamp over. Good. Change the direction. Full rotation of the shoulder. Good. The arms now overhead, reaching up, stretching those fingers apart. Two and three. three. You've done this before. And four, four and, and one more. Five and the arms again return to the side. It's a flexed hand. Bring it in, push it out. One, two, two good. Three, four, five. And then come to rest on the chair for a side stretch. Yeah. And to the other side. The arms crossed over the chest, the hands close to the shoulder. Twist the upper torso so far, maybe looking behind you. Good. And to the other side. Facing center again, the hands placed on the chair. Shift your weight and lift the other hip off the seat. It's one and, and good two. two. And three, and four, and last one. Five, Great job. And the arms drop to the 
outside of the chair for some heel taps, alternating right and left. Flexed foot. That ball is trying to escape on us. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. All right. Let's add some arms to that. Opposite arm to leg. Let's start with our right leg out, our left arm extends, shoulder height. They come in together and the others go out. Left arm, right leg, right leg, left arm. Good job. And after a while, you don't have to think about it. You're like, well, we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> it takes a while. Good job. Same arm as leg. Bring it in together. The other one. Very nice. Good. Stretch those hands. And there. Back into a starting position. The arms dropped tall in the chair, rocking back and forth, pumping your feet, working your ankles. Good for circulation. Super. One up, one down. Very nice. And there. Is that music too loud? No. No? Okay. Well, we're in this position. If you lean back, you should not be able to touch the back of the chair. So if that's not the case, come forward. Reaching down. Let's grab the weights. We're going to start with a bicep curl. The grip is soft but firm. The fingers are wrapped. The thumb comes around them and the elbows are tucked. Chin up as you raise them to the shoulder. One. One. Two, three. I feel energy in four, here. Four, Very nice. Five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Let them rest. Stretch it out. Yep. Dolores and I, Ginger, who's not here, we like that stretch. Again, sitting tall, lifting curl. One, One two, two, three. Use your outdoor four, voice. Five. Rotating the shoulders forward, pulling them back, pinching the shoulder blades together. Good job. And again here, lift one, the elbow never seen from the front. Tuck it to the back, side stretch. There you go, good job. Come up, also known as waist management. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. All right, we are going to put one on the floor and we're gonna keep this one wrapping both hands around it. The arms are straight up the shoulders, so they're relaxed. Looking forward, the weight drops to the back, elbows high, and it's one. one you got it. Two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six, chin up, seven, seven. There you go. Eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Perfect. And take a break. <laughs> And stretch, right, Dolores? And right. stretch. All right. Yeah, find that upright position. Arms and shoulders, drop it to the back, and it's One, up, down. Two, two three, four, five. five very nice. Six, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. And place on the floor along with its friend. We come in, in with these feet, bringing them to a closed position. Maybe in a little adjustment in the chair, but always keeping the, the back with some space. The arms crossed, looking forward, not down. Extend the legs, lift them up, and we're going to do some leg scissors. Out and in, out and in. What? We can't do that. That's out of sync. <laughs> Good job. Flutters up and down. So much more fun in the pool. All right. <laughs> and down. Bring it in. Keep your arms crossed and take a deep breath. Exhale. Looking forward, the legs are out. The feet are off the floor. We're going to flex and point. Two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. The toes are glued together and the heels are out One, in for five, two, three, three, 
four, four let's reverse five, it. Out one, and in, two, out and in. Three, four, five. Oh, great job, and they come to rest. Separating the feet, bringing them back, dropping those arms. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Extending one, looking forward and sliding that leg out. Try to keep the foot on the floor, the hands cradling the knee, reaching forward with a flat back as the arms travel down the leg. Drop into the stretch, take a deep breath. Beautiful. And come up. If you need to adjust your shoelace or something, now's the time. Go on down. Yeah, Cindy's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great job, hey, come up. Bring that in, sliding the other one forward. They travel down that seam, drop into the stretch, the head drops, nice bob, and come up. One more. Drop into that stretch. Super. And sit tall. Back to a starting position, still have plenty of room behind you, the arms dropped. The chin is off the chest as you lift one knee. A flexed foot. It's out and in. Two, Two three, four, good. Five, six, six seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. And down. And the weight shifts. It is different than leaning. It just shifts a little as you lift it up and one, out. Two, good. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there. Take that deep breath again. Exhale. Perfect. One weight, both hands. We're going to hold the weight in a horizontal position. The arms are straight out and the weight is in between your knees, but try not to lock the elbows. Sitting tall in the chair, we raise it about chest height, right there, lower it down a little, right there, good, and back, two, two. and down, it's back through your shoulders, three, three. Oh, not too high, four, four. a little lower, five, five. perfect, six. six, do you feel it, yes. seven, <laughs> eight. eight, it's my calling card, nine, nine. Ten. ten, great job, and take a break. Stretch it out, breathe it out. Yeah. Again, here, sitting tall, raise it. One, One good. Two, two three, three, yes. Four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Sometimes I think I should just put a one on the front of the five, or maybe on the other side, 51. <laughs> so it feels like. All right, on the floor it goes. We're going to do some lunges. So, again, a seated lunge has a little bend in this leg. So it's not a straight leg, a little bend. The arms come out, the fingers spread apart, reaching forward from the hip. It's a flat back. Your focus should be about two feet in front of your foot. And then we come back to this position. The arms stretching out to the side. Bring it back one more time. A little bend in that leg that comes forward. Open at the hip so the foot slides across the floor. The focus is to the side. Everything goes back to center. Good. Open. Nice. And one more. Working the hip. Again to the front, rest it on the heel, the arms reaching behind you, palms up. And sit tall, great job. There, and one more, lunging into it on the other side. One, and up, open two. Make that a big movement. Yes, slide it to the side and look. One, one. slides across the floor, two. never lift it, good. Three. Three. To the front, toes up, One. stretching. One. Oh, I feel that. Two. Two. And three. three. Great job. Catch your breath. We're going to keep this position, but we're going to turn slightly. 
So now we have the front chair leg in between our feet. The hand that's close to the back of your chair, hold on to the frame, allowing you to extend the outside arm and leg in opposite directions. Hip to toe, shoulder to fingertip, and stretch out. Perfect, Charles. Pretend to grab a rope, pull it towards you. You're gonna round your back, tuck your chin, bring the leg in and the hand in is now a fist. Again, stretch it out, reach, oh yes. Perfect, and curl up. Straighten up as we turn. We need like a little lazy Susan. <laughs> you work on that, Mary. <laughs> Your feet apart. The inside hand holds the frame. The outside arm reaches for I mean, reaches forward. <laughs> Curl up into that little ball. Again, reach, spread the fingers. Nice, Bob. Reach for it and bring it in. Yeah, I like that stretch. Facing forward again with our feet flat on the floor. You still have room behind you. The hands are braced on the chair don't need anything but our own body weight. Remember this is from here up is what we're using. The feet are just placed on the floor for balance. So brace your hands. It's a chair lift using your weight. One. Good. Two. two nice job. Three. three yes. Four, four. Keep it strong. Five. Six. Seven. seven that ball ten. Ten. and down. Now we bring it into a not so great position for balance, a closed position. Feet and knees forward in the chair because we're going to lean back. So hold on, bring the knees to the chest and down. One, two, three, three good, four, five, six, six yes, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. and down. Woo. I'm warming up, are you? Okay, so we separate those feet, the arms extend right out from the shoulder, toe touches, alternating right and left. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, five, and, six, and, good, seven, and, eight, and, nine, and, ten. And all right, great job. Forward in the chair and legs extended to the front, one over the other. So you're sitting high on those sit bones. I mean, they're sitting and, and they're sitting, but we want to lengthen the spine. So sit tall, the arms extended, maybe form a little V with your hands. Reaching forward first and touching that foot on top. One, one two, two, good. Three. Three, straight out from the chest. Four, Four. Five. five. Great job. Now we place the other leg on top. Try to keep the feet on the floor. Again, reaching forward first and One. down. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Good. Five. five. We did it. All right. Separate the feet and bring it back into this position where. You can still lean back, you just have more of that seat to sit on. So the arms are out, the shoulders relaxed, and the hands relaxed. They're just kind of hanging out there, yeah. And then flex them, the fingers spread Two, apart. Good. Three, three four, four, five. five. The fist. And drop One, it and lift it. Two, Two three, three, four, five. five. Fingers out, the arms now crossed. Rotate them so palms fit together, lock it in. The arms extend overhead, working within your range of flexibility. Pull them back as you bring them down. Don't drop the chin, look forward. So it's just the shoulder that's doing all that work. Good, perfect. Bruce, be careful. Stopping halfway, place the other arm on top. Lock in the fingers. Extend and down. Two. Two. Beautiful. Three. Three. And down. Good job. Shake them out. Yeah. 
still sitting tall, the arms are out and the fingers are spread apart. So flex tan, close and open, close and open. Three, four, four five, keep going. Six, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Curl them up. And everyone make a really scary face. <laughs> okay, and then a fist and drop it and lift it. Two. Two. See, you miss all the fun when you're on Three, the four, five, five, and out. All right, shake them out. A stretch. So we're going to extend just one, palms up, going underneath the hand with the free hand and pulling and stretching that. Good. Fingers up, pull them back. And extend the other one out. Palms up, grab the fingers, stretch it. In there. Yeah. And again, shake them out. Out, where you can see them, out here. We're going to do some finger taps. The index finger touches the thumb. The middle finger touches the thumb. Ring finger, little finger. Ring finger. Flick. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Good. Press. Form a circle. Yeah. <laughs> and press. If my fingernails fall off, I'm going to be very upset. Those fingernails cost. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. Just stretch it out. One more. Arms extended. It's a fist. They're together, thumbs up. The elbows are gonna to open to the side. The fist is gonna come closer to the chest. They're gonna rock on the knuckles, rock on the back of the hand. The arms now down and the forearms perhaps together. Reverse it, elbows out, extending the arms there. One more time. Bring it close to you, drop it down. The last one. It's just going to rest. Make sure that your chin is lifted. Smiles are optional, but chin is up. So take that head to the side a little. Good. And then gently to the other side. All right. And there. Okay. The tennis ball. We're going to use a tennis ball. And if it's the first time online and you, you didn't know that, just pretend or, or grab. So take your shoes off and, and use your socks, roll them up into a ball. But usually we'll use this. So sitting tall, good posture. We use it to warm up our hands and our feet. So roll it between your hands. Our balance begins at the bottom of our feet. So it's best felt without your shoes on stocking feet, bare feet. So have a tennis ball or two at home. Stretch the hand, fingers spread apart, working that in between your fingers. It matches your shirt almost, Lawrence. Almost. Yeah. I like that color. And now both hands you want to do. Looks like a fast pitch ball. Good. An open hand. So don't hold on to it, but just a relaxed hand and kind of to the side like you're going to uh, throw some dice on the table. Lucky seven, maybe. <laughs> okay, and then the other. It's all right. I give up. <laughs> don't worry about it. A challenge on this one, it's called a basket, so it's on the top of the hand. Good job. And that's the larger of all those balls. Yeah. Out. I'm going to balance it. Oh, there's two. Is that your own? Is that your own? Is yeah. that? Okay. Let's try the other hand. As long as it doesn't touch the camera, we're all good. Whoa, that was close to the camera. <laughs> there. 
as you can see, it's a little bit of a challenge, but you know what? Who cares? Make a game out of it. So you're going to hold it here. Maybe bring it closer to you. Grab it, place it on the floor, your foot resting softly on the ball, and then push down on it. And you're gonna feel this, but you're gonna feel it a lot more if you are lucky enough to slip up your shoes quick enough. You'll feel that because on the bottom of your feet is where your balance begins, stimulating the nerves on the bottom. Let's put it under the other foot, push down. It's great to have a couple of tennis balls next to your favorite chair and just massage your feet, right Bruce? Right. Yeah. So we're going to take that, placing it in the chair. Sorry, hearing impaired when you leave. So we're going to take that and push it back again. The weights, no I didn't forget them. Grab them please and we're going to use those to strengthen our legs and hip and core. So we're gonna roll it out with a hand on top, an open hand. One leg out. Sitting more forward than back. So pull up and look forward as you raise it up down. Two, Two. good. Three, Three four, four, five, six, six got it. Seven, eight, eight nine, nine, flex the foot ten. in. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. five Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back, and without looking down, extend the other leg and lift it up for ten. One, One good. Two, two three, four. four. Get excited. Five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten. ten. Flex. One, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're done with these, so we're going to put them on the floor underneath the chair and out of our way back into the seat where you actually get to use the back for support. Using the back where your back is all the way in that chair, your feet still wide, bring them behind the knees. Maybe the hands resting on those hip bones, pull away from it like you're arching your back and then press into it using those abdominals. Again, pull away from it and press into the chair. Keeping that engaged and pressed, look forward, the legs are out and the feet are off the floor. Circle one, two, two three, four, four five. five. Change direction. Five, six, four, three, two, one. The feet hit the floor, pull them back and just pull on away from that chair shifting your weight from side to side walk out to the edge so you want to give yourself plenty of room um, arms overhead today so keep your feet flat on the floor we're going to lean back not quite as far as touching but close and come up good two and up very nice three, three. up Four. Good. Five, Five. more. <laughs> Six. Six. Huh? Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. We're almost there. Nine. Nine. Last one, hold. Ten. Ten. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Great job, and come up. Placing the hands here, that weight shifts forward. You're reaching from the hip and it's a flat back. Looking at the floor, lift one heel, then lift the other heel, drop the first and the second. It's up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. One more. Just heels. Up, down, up, down, up, down. We are ready for a sit to stand. If your feet are still wide, nose over toes shift the weight to the ball of the foot and come up be very careful Unknown collar. bend the knees placing the weight in the heel 
back into the chair. Shift forward over the ball of the foot to stand. Good. Bend the knees. Place the weight in the heel. Beautiful job. Give me one more. Be careful. And back down. Great job. All right. You take a deep breath. Fingers spread apart. They're going to be on the neck, the elbows to the side, stretching the chest. Twist. Look at one ball, then look at the other. Yes, it's a warm up for a seated crunch. So twist, lift the knee to the opposite elbow and up. Two and up. Working the waistline and the spine. Four and last one. And Great job. All right, catch your breath, have some water, and we're going to use the large ball. The one that we blew up. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I probably won't have to do this for about a year. Soft but firm, okay? Oops. All right, Bruce, that tennis ball, just make sure that it's not going to escape. And Charles, yours as well. Just sometimes if you take it and squeeze it in between the seat and the back, it might stay there if you're lucky. So sit tall. We're going to hold the ball with an open hand. It's just the palm of the hand. It's placed on the chest. The elbows are dropped. And then extend the arms out. The focus is on the rim of the ball as you reach forward from the hip. Don't drop the arms. They're reaching forward, not down. And then place your head in between the arms and hold the position. <laughs> Lift just the head. Come up slowly. The arms still reaching forward. Round the back. Tuck the chin and pull away from your spine, but reach forward. Lengthen it, sitting tall. Good job. The arms extend overhead. The feet glued to the floor. Lean back, engaging the core and come up. Again, it's back to that starting position. Track the ball as you twist the upper torso as far to the side as you can go and hold. Nice, center. Keep your eye on it, twist. Good, and center. Placing it, now you should be far enough forward in the seat that you've got a lot of the leg off of the seat. So this ball is nowhere near the knee. It's on the inner thigh, okay? Your hands are on top and your feet now, perfect. Conrad knew that. They come together. So your feet are touching. You're pulled up, looking forward, squeeze that. Now you can't pop it, can you? <laughs> squeeze hard. And relax one more time as hard as you can squeeze good and relax super job grab the ball separate the feet put it on the floor please and slide it to one side so that one foot is going to rest very softly on the ball if you put too much weight on it it'll get out from under you and it'll go sit and then you might fall. So just barely put some weight on it. The arms are overhead. That free leg, be very careful, is extended forward. Eyes off the floor as you lift it and hold it an inch or two off the floor. Perfect, and down. Drop your arms. And now let's put that ball on the other side. Keep it pretty close to your chair. To make this a little bit more challenging, what would you do? You might have some hand weights. You might not have a chair. You might have a stability ball. One of those big balls that you sit on. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> or not. But don't try this at home. Arms overhead. Looking forward, extend one. And lift it up and hold. Super. And down. Great job. 
putting your foot. We're gonna get out of the chair. We're not gonna use this. So I'm gonna put mine on top of my weights that are underneath the chair. We're gonna stand. So please, whatever you brought to class, make sure it's on the seat of your chair or directly underneath. So you're gonna transfer your weight forward and come up. Never ever be in a hurry. Charles, would you mind um, putting that ball in the chair? Just, they seem to have a, the, the tennis ball, I'm sorry. It, they seem to have a, a mind of their own. They just like to roll about. Thank you. And we'll be standing to the back, um, about arm's distance from it. Yeah. So if you need the chair, please use it. If you don't, the arms are dropped. We're gonna do heel lift. So it's up, down, up, down. Good job. Thank you. Four. Eyes off the floor. Five. Six. Six. I'll tell you now. Seven. Seven. We're going to hold on ten. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Go up. Get your balance Eight. and hold. Two, three, four, five. And down. Beautiful. Fingers on the chair. The weight all in the heel. Lift the toes. Two. Two. Good. Three. three. Yes. Four. four. Five, six, six stretch it, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good job, and shake it out. Oh, I didn't test it. We're good. We're going to do some leg lifts. So, Dave, I don't, from here, just make sure you have plenty of room and you like the person behind you, not going to kick them. All right, so the weight shifts to one side. It's a standing leg that's a soft knee. The other leg is to the back, up for 10. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Keep it back ten. there, looking forward. You're gonna bend that standing knee and this heel pressing into the floor. Good, come up, bring it forward, shifting the weight to the other side and it's up, down, two, three, three four good five six seven eight nine ten bend and stretch it out beautiful and come up turn i'm turning you're not i'm turning so the camera can see we're still in an arm's distance away with our feet apart but the weight shifts to the ball of the foot fingers are here we're going to take a bow so you're gonna reach forward from the hip, looking down at the seat of your chair with a flat back. Your feet should be as wide as your shoulders or hips for good balance. Good, and come up. Tall, Cindy, watch the left shoe, it's untied. Oh, it is. Okay, and reach forward. And come up, good job. This is gonna be our last one because we have some special things. Again, you should be not online, but in person. We have a little party. So we're gonna be standing to the side of our chair, our body in line with the frame, but the weight is on the inside leg, the hand here. Slide the outside leg forward. It's a straight leg and the ball of the foot feels the floor each time as you lift it up and down. Two, Two. good. Three, you got it. Four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. And it comes back to that position. To the other side. We're right here. The weight, though, on the inside leg, the hand here. Without looking at the floor, slide the outside leg forward and point to something with the ball of the foot. Good, and lift it up for 10. One, two, two three, four, four, louder, five, five six, six, thank you, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. And it comes back to that position. Behind the chair, um, with our feet, with our feet wide, and use the chair if you need it. If you don't, though, the arms will be dropped to the side. Shoulders relax, the core always tight, and just stand as still as you can. 
turning just the head to look over one shoulder. Good, bring the focus center and look over the other shoulder. And center. Fingers on the chair with our feet in a closed position. Straight legs, but soft knees, the arms dropped. Eyes open, use the chair if you need it. Maybe even one hand or a couple of fingers. Amazing what that'll do. Turn again to look over one shoulder. Focus on something that is eye level. And then turn to the other shoulder. And center. Separate your feet. Fingers on the chair if you need it. If you don't, they're dropped to the side, look up. And down. Bringing your feet together, maybe not even holding onto the chair. Beautiful job, and then, okay. Um, thank you for joining us. I'm gonna, this is a little different today because I surprised, I knew about what was happening, but I wanted it to be a surprise for everyone that was here in person. Um, we're gonna play I Love You Arizona and we have some um, we have some treats to have. So enjoy the music, and our aerobic is going to be eating fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just ask that you stay away from the counter because the music will be playing and it'll skip. So I think everything's right over there for everyone. So they they did it just for us. So please go over and make yourself mm -hmm. something to treat. Are you going to join us? Absolutely, I am. So thank you for joining us online on YouTube. Um, we're going to go and have something to eat. Enjoy the music.
Thank you for being here today. Go out and make it a wonderful day. Be happy, be healthy, be safe, and above all, be kind.